Hi everyone, I just want to make a really quick video today to show you two products, um, one of which I already offer and one is brand new. It was a personal project um, that I gave you a sneak peek of the other day on my page. Um, and the first one I'm going to show you was a custom order that somebody added some extra bits to, so I really wanted to show it to you. Um, so Juju B Pink Ladies will know this is a B light that has been minied. Um, so minying means taking three to four inches off the bottom. This one's had three inches off the bottom. Um, it's also had seven inches off the straps. Um, but there were two new things that this lady requested I add to the bag that I've never added before. So the first one is just this little D-ring so she could attach charms to it. Um, so as I adjusted the straps, I also added that little D-ring on there just to clip things onto. Um, the second thing was this pocket on the back. So she also sent me some additional zipper pulls so that I could attach that onto the new zipper. Um, and it's got hot pink lining. So this pocket um, is as wide as the B light is. Um, it's also as deep as the B light is as well. And it's completely lined on both sides of the pocket. Um, so it's just a really nice big additional pocket to the B light. Um, a mini B light is a really good handbag size. Um, you can keep the straps the same length as they were or have them um, shortened like this one has as well. Um, there's nothing been done to the inside. The inside is exactly the same as it was. And this one is this lovely like dark, I think they called it mushroom or champagne lining. Um, and there's the bottom. There we go. So that is a mini B light that somebody custom ordered um, and I hope she's really happy with it when I send it off to her. Um, there we go. It's just new things that I haven't done before so it's always always fun for me to do. She's also sent me um, some more material to make something a surprise out of. So I'm going to make something that I've not made before that I would like, that I've been wanting to make for a while. Um, so look out for that in a few weeks time. So that's the mini B light. The second item, as I said, was a personal project that I just wanted to pick up and do. Um, it's a free pattern by Blue Color Patterns. Um, it's the Lilac Mini Messenger Bag. So if you want to make this bag, go ahead and download that pattern. It's completely free. Um, but it was a really nice pattern. I did make some adjustments to it. Um, and I'll show you what they were, but they're nothing, nothing major. And it's not too difficult a pattern to have a go at. Um, if you're a beginner, a real beginner, I suggest missing out the piping. Um, but apart from that, it's not, it's not too bad a pattern actually for beginners. You might need um, quite a tough machine because there are a few layers in the last lot of stitching. Um, but you could avoid doing the top stitching if you haven't got a too powerful machine to do it. Um, but anyway, here it is. So this is the Lilac Mini Messenger bag by Blue Color Patterns. Um, I made it out of, there's a bunch of different Toki in this actually. Um, so you've got Unikuki 2.0, but I really like the mint from uh, Don't Tell a Sweet Shop. Um, so I really wanted that on there. Um, this isn't actually from Don't Tell a Sweet Shop. This was just some ribbon I bought and made into piping. Um, and that's all around the bottom of the bag as well. This blue is this lovely blue, ocean blue cork fabric. Um, it's really soft, really lovely. It's an alternative to leather um, and it's just as just as strong and really, really lovely to sew with as well. It like, sews like butter, it's brilliant. Um, I used the Unikiki 2 lining in the top of there, and this closes with a sew-in magnet. Right, so it's got a little sort of snap to it. On the back, it's got a zipper pocket, which I lined in Unikiki 2.0 as well. Um, I was really happy with how that zipper pocket turned out. Um, this zipper doesn't come from Jujubee, but I took the zipper off um, a Jujubee zip and added it to this zipper. Um, 
inside. Here's one of the parts I added. I added a zipper across the top here, um, like a, uh, a placketed zipper, um, just to add a bit more security. Usually the pattern just has it open. So I added that in. There we go. And inside, I've got Donatella Sweet Shop, the mint green lining in there. I added a coin, coin, what about? A key fob. I added a key fob to it because I, I liked the addition on the Vivian of having that in there just to easily get your keys um, and to have them a bit more secure in the bag as well. Um, it's just an open bag really, but inside it's also got another little slip pocket inside that's got, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, it's got Unikiki 2 on the outside of the pocket and on the inside of that pocket it's got KJC just because I was trying to use up the little bits of lining that I had and it actually went quite well. I also put the piping on the top of that pocket. If you can see, I'm not sure if you can see. I'll add extra um, pictures on my page anyway. Um, but yeah, I added, that's additional to the pattern. Um, the zip is additional to the pattern and the pocket, uh, the piping along the pocket inside is additional. Um, other than that, so it w would be without that key fob and without the zip if you were to make it straight from the pattern. Um, there are a few things I'd do differently if I was to make it again. I probably wouldn't put the piping on the top of the pocket. You can't see the edges actually of the pocket, they're right up against the edge on the inside there, but the piping isn't great on the very corners of the pocket there. Um, this zip of placket I'm happy with, but I'd make it a little bit shorter just so it doesn't run right up to the edges there. Um, uh, the pattern also is called for um, the strap to be made out of this cork fabric and I probably would have done that but I didn't have enough cork fabric left I only bought a small sample because it was quite expensive um, so I just bought I think I can't remember what it was it was like it's like two fat quarters worth to make those two panels um, and these bits and I had I had like a good strip left but not long enough to make a strap so I just made it out of this mint webbing there we go it's I'll show you it in comparison to a quick just a minute I'll go grab a quick there we go here's a quick so in comparison to a quick it's taller, but narrower. It's probably about as wide as a quick at the bottom. Yeah, it is about as wide as a quick at the bottom. Um, so there we go, that's how it compares to a quick. Uh, this is something I'm hoping to be adding to what I make, um, but I'm not sure how much I'm going to charge for it yet. I know how much time it took me to make. Um, but obviously I use different materials um, to just jujube. Um, there's different sort of closures you can add. You could add a twist lock, you could add a, a, a popper. Um, but if you're interested in making the pattern for yourself, please go download it. Um, blue colour patterns, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Bye.